Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And this is going to be a very, very important video. Remember, I told you about the whole Trinity. I'm gonna quit up a lot of questions that's gonna lead to some sub sub subsequent videos after this. But let me explain, let me quantify you why y'all amazed by what I'm doing with just those two eights. At such a low frequency, with very little power. Because I'm using, the, not the first trend that I told you about, I told you cardio is about two things, electricity and physics, that's what's going on. Electricity, electrical, you know I can't say that word, Starts up front, it has to get all the way to the back. You're taking AC and amplifying it using DC switching. Once you get you a good clean signal, then the subwoofer and the box come in. The subwoofer can only follow the instructions of the enclosure based off the box that is in. You must, all three are important. Clean power, subwoofer, and enclosure. But I'm going to tell you what we used to do in the 90s and why y'all amazed what I'm doing now in the videos in your sharing. But it's not going to grow the way it should grow because <laughs> there's another reason why I'm also, I mean, why your channel ain't growing you telling people the truth? Because people don't want the truth. But I'm going on another subject. They want the lie. That's a whole other video. This video right here. Why you amazed? How is he doing that with them eights? Well, for one, a lot of people say he just make an oversized box. You can't make every silver with an oversized box. You can't. And if you do put a silver with an oversized box, particularly eights with an eight, a six and a half inch spider, you must know what you're giving up. I'm going for efficiency and not power, even though all three work together. The amplifier, the sub, and the box. By me making efficient having an inspection enclosure, the subwoofer doesn't have to work as hard and I don't need that much power. Let me say that again. By me making an efficient enclosure, efficient enclosure is going to limit my box rise and give me more power coming out the amplifier to the sub, which in turn follow the instructions of the sub based on the enclosure that it's in by making this the last component of a sound system, the enclosure. By making it efficient, I don't need a lot of power and it's easy for the subwoofer to achieve a given SPL goal. Take all three items apart. And I'm going to do a video on this later to pound this into your head. Subwoofer. Box. Subwoofer. Amp. Put them on the table. They make no output. They work together. You can have all the power in the world, but you don't have a subwoofer to follow those instructions. You won't hear nothing. You can have 10,000 watts sitting right in on tap, but you won't hear nothing unless a subwoofer can use it. And the subwoofer cannot use it effectively based on the enclosure that it's in. My theory, the MBE theory, is the box. I get efficient enclosures. I don't need a lot of power. But see, the day's theory today is, ah, right, man, power cheap. Clean power ain't. I got good, clean power that I don't need a lot of. A certain performance level in a subwoofer that I'm basing my enclosure in the vehicle off of. Good, clean power, a certain performance level in my subwoofer that's planted in the enclosure that's, that's following the instructions of the amplifier and the enclosure that's based off it and the vehicle it is in. That's why I put the second amplifier in. Because my theory is I can continue to get loud. All I got to do is increase the cone area. And it, if I increase the cone area and I increase the box size, I'm not giving a little power. I'm going to stay in the 140s. That's what I'm trying to show y'all. That's, that's one of the tenets of MBE. Work on your the box, which is what I, I know I sell boxes. But I'm also telling y'all look for a certain performance level in the sub. You get a certain performance level in the sub, a efficient subwoofer, efficient enclosure, 
good, clean, efficient. When I say sometimes don't be that efficient power, but as long as it's clean coming out. Because my fog gate ain't really efficient in one on. That's why I like to run two on. And y'all seen the video there. Man, I got four and some videos up here, man. These new guys, y'all got to go all the way back to catch up where these guys at right now. And you'll see why they support me. Because I'm, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get loud. You do not have to spend a whole lot of money here at 140. It's hard. It's challenging. But if you understand them three, if you follow my videos, I'm going to teach you how to do it. I ain't going to teach you how to build a box. I ain't going to tell you that now. I ain't got time for that. You want a box, you either do trial and error and get build for a lot of subwoofers like I did and get the knowledge up here. And then you better do it for yourself. And maybe you can start selling to others. Or you can get one for me. I like it if you get one for me. <laughs> Being real with you. True. Fact, not fiction on this channel. I ain't got time to teach nobody. I, you'll never see me build boxes and teach you how to run the program on this on this channel. Not going to do that. Not because of taking bread in my mouth. Because I can't give you, I can't teach you that in a series of videos. And build people boxes to take care of my family and be a hub. I can't do that. That's why that ain't going to be happening. On the land conclusion, man, pay attention to that. What they be talking about? Fishing subwoofer, fishing enclosure, good clean power, giving the SPA result. Peace. Stand for tune for the next one.